Welcome back to Beyond the Emulator with your host, Dylan. And in today's episode or video, I'm actually going to go through Mortar on the Next UI platform. And what I'd like to do is show you how to install Mortar and use Mortar. And what it is is a ROM platform to allow you to be able to download games onto your Next UI device, uh, either if you're using the TrimUI Brick or the Pro, Smart Pro. So let's go down and I will show you the application and then I will also show you how we're going to install it so we're going to go down to tools and I'll just kind of give you a brief example it is called mortar and we should be connected online and what it does is it opens up mortar mega thread and it allows us six different platforms that we will be able to um, download games from. So, for example, if we were to go to Game Boy Advance, you were able to select a game from this page, or you could do a search. We can go back, and we could look at PlayStation as well. I'll give you a selection. So, without further ado, let me go ahead and get this back over here and I will show you how to get the application onto your SD card and then we'll go ahead and get it installed onto the device and then do run and test and get a program to be able to download and perform and run. Again, thanks for joining Beyond the Emulator. If you care to watch these videos, like and subscribe and thanks again for watching and we're going to get started. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and get on the internet. And what I've done is I've actually located the uh, website. It's under a GitHub. It's, um, I'll go ahead and include that into the description and link. We'll scroll down. It's for Mortar. It's going to be an application. We scroll down to Mortar. And it's a ROM download client for NextUI. And what we can do is there's two ways of doing this. We can do this by downloading it in the Pack Store and then taking the SD card out and making the configurations in it or we can download the application like we're going to do now and make the configurations and then go ahead and add it onto the card by still doing it. It's just one way versus the other. So what it will do is there's some instructions down here that will show what we need to do to edit it. There's some other details down here for some configuration as well. So what I've already done is minimize this is I've already downloaded mortar and opened it here and as you can see there's only a few items listed under the mortar pack and under this one here you'll see this is my mortar pack that I have listed so what we have to do here is mine has a configuration YNL file that has been compromised so what we need to do is we're going to go back into our down here and what it is requiring is to set up is to edit one of the templates which are found here so we're going to go ahead and click on this and what we would do is we would take one of these either files ROM or Megathread we'll do the ROM we're going to click on that and we're going to go over to the right to the download the raw file Is not what we wanted. Let's go back one. Let's do save a link as. We'll go with it there. It seems to be the same. So we're going to go ahead and save that file right now under the desktop. We're going to go ahead and find that file. Shouldn't be far. Where did it hide? There we go. So what we would do is we're going to go back up here. We're going to go backwards one. And what we need to do is we need to save it as a config YNL, as you'll see here. So we're going to take this name. Basically copy.
change it to config. Oops, an uppercase, sorry about that. Config. Okay, take that file. We're going to drop it right into the mortar pack like that. Actually, we're not going to be able to do that. Let's, because our pack has not been extracted. So what we need to do is we need to extract all. So yes, you can run into a couple complications here. There we go. We're going to go extract all. We're going to take our mortar pack. We're going to bring it over here going to open it back up. We're going to drop this file in there. We're going to close it out. What we are going to do is we're going to take my mortar pack that I have currently and we're going to override it. So we're going to grab that file, bring them over here. Isn't he coming over here? We really just want him to go into this file. There we go. Replace. Perfect. We'll double check our file. It's got the config YNL. We're going to go ahead and X out of this. We're going to go ahead and put the SD card back into the brick and boot up and go over to mortar. So now we put the SD card back into the brick. We're going to go ahead and reboot it with mortar pack installed. Get things booted up. Here we go to our home screen. We'll go to tools. We're going to go down to mortar and also by the way you want to check is your Wi-Fi to make sure that's connected because you are going to need the internet for this we're going to go ahead and click A to open and there we go the application is open so we're going to go ahead and let's just go with Game Boy Advance we'll select a game we're just going to pick a quick game but you could select anything down the line you could pick multiple by picking select so let's just go with this Pac-Man world and Pac-Man. We're going to go ahead and select it. It automatically goes into a download manager and downloads it. Shows how big the file is, just a little under six megabytes. Where I'm located today outside, um, my Wi-Fi may be a little iffy, so don't know how quick that'll be, but it seems to be moving rather quickly, so we'll just Hold on a second. Refill your snack dish, maybe your drink, grab some ice. We'll get this game downloaded and then we'll go ahead and uh, go into gameplay. Didn't want to bore you with the details of watching the bar go across, so we're almost wrapped up here. By the way, this mortar application will work for both the TrimUI Smart Pro as well as the brick. So download is complete. Press A. It's going to actually scrape it and download the art. There we go. Let's go ahead and use that. We're going to go ahead and get out of this. Get out of mortar. Let's go up to our Game Boy Advance. And there we go. Two games in one Pac Man World and Miss Pac Man. Go ahead and press A to select. Boot right up. Look what we got.
they're really pushing some advertisements on this game. Most of these companies, I would say, are probably out of business by now. There we go. Oh my goodness. So, press select. And the game has started. And there's Pac-Man. So, there you go. Thanks again for watching. Again, what we've done is we've installed Mortar onto the next UI platform that can be used on the Trimui Brick and the Smart Pro, which allows you to be able to download some applications, ROMs. Again, you can see the menu. We'll go ahead and get out of this, go back over to Tools. But again, thanks for watching. If you like these videos, put a like, and also you can subscribe. I have more videos to come. But again, we'll go back to Mortar and show you again the six platforms that you would be able to pull games off of. Okay, thanks again. And from Beyond the Emulator, this is Dylan, and have a great day.